I think people who don't believe climate change is real honestly are just lucky. Lucky that they haven't seen what we have seen. Corina and I live here in Penang. I work as the naturalist here at the Habitat Penang Hill which is a part of UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. Because where we are here on the hill I have experienced with my own eyes the effect of climate change with the frequent changes in rain and also thunderstorm. Back in 2017 because of the Typhoon Dam Ray it triggered almost 30 major landslides up here on the hill and just last year we had another one happening here in the park which affected our wildlife and also the plants in here. I have seen firsthand uh, the effects of flooding, how it changed people's life. People lose their home, their property, and worse, people lose their loved ones. I studied biology, so being here means I've landed my dream job actually. But what I didn't expect is how much I dislike leaving this place because I have to go back home right in the city and how hot it is down there. Comparing this place and the city, it's like night and day. I myself have an experience with heat stroke one time when it was so hot that I almost fainted. <laughs> I hate the feeling that I need to escape my own home just to be able to breathe and think properly. From all the way up here on Penang Hill, down to the rising shoreline, we can feel the effect of climate change closing in around us. Growing up in Penang, I have seen the transition of Penang from a colonial port city to a thriving UNESCO World Heritage Site. During my young days, I used to spend the day on this field and it was always possible and comfortable and safe. But now, the place is empty and we feel the heat and humidity and it makes it difficult for us to be out there in the sun. With the urban heat, and increased level of humidity. We have seen temperatures increase between five to eight degrees. The urban areas are far more hotter than the rural areas. Life has become far much more challenging, particularly for those who are elderly and vulnerable. And this is what has spurred us into action to transform our city and manage the effects as best as we can. This is why Tick City initiated the Nature-Based Climate Adaptation Programme to implement a nature-based solution program on Penang Island, the first urban climate adaptation program to have been developed for Malaysia. To offset the heat island effect, we need to introduce green spaces in the city to reduce temperatures by five to eight degrees centigrade, which can make all the difference for the people's well-being. Parks and cycle routes, forest reserve, green connectors, all contributing to a greener city. So I'm so glad that the city has been making a lot of changes recently, bringing more greeneries right into the cities. So I feel like what I feel up here, right down there. It's almost like, you know, bringing work back home, but in a good way. It's great to be back in this neighborhood. This is where I grew up. I lived, used to live behind this row of shop houses. And it's nice to see how this derelict site has been restored back into a beautiful park. And there's much that we have, can learn by working with communities and harnessing the nature. And, and this has been the basis of how we have designed the Nature-Based Climate Adaptation Program where we believe that bringing nature closer to ourselves will only enhance and improve the quality of life that we can attain.